This is Robert from Cast Iron Canada. I've had a, uh, numerous people ask me to explain how to use a computer power supply for electrolysis. And electrolysis is very, very simple. It's simply a 12 volt power supply with ground and amperage. So if we look at this particular power supply, we've got 12 volt one, 28 amps. Okay, so at 12 volts, we've got a maximum of 28 amps. That's a lot of amperage, so it's a, a good unit. I've tried using Dells, I've tried using other brand name or power supplies, they don't seem to work. So just get yourself a generic one. It doesn't even need to be a functional one. Um, a lot of these have blown 3.3s or like a 5 volts. It doesn't matter. As long as the 12 volt works, you're good. So many times you can get these for free. So this is just a very generic power supply. I've been using this thing for years. This cleans a lot of cast iron. Now, the main things for the power supply, what you want is the all of the uh, yellow wires okay so right now I've got about six or eight yellow wires put together we've got all the ground wires put together or most of them so more the better to handle the amperage and then the other one you need to look at is the green wire now what the green wire is is the power control button and there should be a piece of tape at the end of this but it's not but the green wire itself will, if you hook this up to a ground, it is essentially the green wire is for the power button on the front of the computer. So what you're doing is essentially bypassing this, bypassing the power button, so that you can actually turn it on on the back using that power switch to zero and one. And that's pretty much it. I mean, so you've got, on the average power supply, you'll see a yellow with black stripe as well. You don't want those. You want to cut them off, get rid of them. So use all of your uh, yellow wires, which is 12 volts bunch of grounds and then your green wire once you get this all done then you're ready to go okay you can hook up your whatever you have if you got battery uh, jumper cables or whatever you're going to use so I mean you hook up your uh, cathode and anode set them all up just like you would a battery charger and away you go have a good day